Hello everyone, today's topic is how to diffuse any argument and reduce conflict in your life. Hi everyone, as discussed in the intro, today we want to talk about how to diffuse any argument and really control the conflict in your life and really make it manageable so you can have better relationships. A really important part of becoming a person who can really identify with themselves and help others. If you're fighting with others, you're really not gonna get anywhere. You need to reach them without conflict and you really wanna make sure that any arguments are diffused so you can get your point across. I'm gonna start with a quote and the quote is, from a distance, people arguing both seem wrong. And I think that's a great quote. From a distance, people arguing both seem wrong. You don't want to argue with people. That quote was, um, I'm going to say it's from the great Jay-Z from his album Takeover in 2001. But I've got a feeling Jigger Man got it from uh, Confucius 479 BC. But Jigger Man, you know, you've got to get your material from somewhere. And I still love you. And uh, rest in peace, Biggie Smalls. So I want to get into the uh, viewer question. Now I get all types of questions. If you feel, feel free to send your questions in. And I hope to answer them either in a video. Um, uh, situation like this or alternatively in a one-on-one -on -one coaching situation over Skype. Now the viewer question is from New Zealand. Kia ora, how are you? New Zealand, beautiful country. I lived there for a little while. And the question is, um, hi Hadron, thank you so much for your videos. My question is, I'm not assertive and I always back away from conflict. Uh, while I've watched a lot of your videos and have improved myself, I really don't know how to deal with conflict. And as I've found myself taking on more of a leadership role, I find myself with more conflict, getting more anxious and stepping back and withering. How can I change this personality trait? Well, you can change it. And I really value that question because I think a lot of people, when they start improving themselves or, or making you know judgments or beliefs or really trying to you know leave their comfort zone, start finding friction. And that's the universe's way of checking out if you're serious. You know, if you want to become a person who's going to help others, the universe will slap you in the face and just double check that you are serious or are you going to give up at the first sign of problems. And a lot of people find this, so great question. Now I'm going to give you a technique, and this technique is revolutionary on how to deal with, um, um, with um, conflict. Now, a little personal story. I was employed in a um, computer store um, many years ago now, and I was put in what was the tech services department. It was the department where people brought broken computers and wanted to get them fixed. Now, I was given the instructions by the owner of the business at the time that I wasn't to issue refunds and um, we weren't doing any work immediately. So what would happen is a customer would come in and go, I have my computer, it's broken, it's a business computer, I'm furious, I'm angry, I want it fixed immediately. And I'd say, oh, I'm really sorry, we can't fix it immediately. And they go, well, that's fine, I want to refund them. And I'd say, well, I've also been told we can't, get, we can't um, give refunds. Now, it's at that point they'd say, well, I want to see your manager. I was only a young 17, 18 year old guy at the time. And sorry, the other thing that I hadn't told you is that there was also no seeing the manager. So the three rules were, can't, won't fix it immediately, no refunds and no seeing the manager. So you can imagine at this point, it was gonna be a difficult job to have and about a week into it, I was gonna quit. I was like, I've had this. I, um, it was my first real full-time job within a profession. I had part-time jobs before and I was really, I was about to give up. I um, really felt like quitting. But just before I was gonna push the button on quitting, I felt, no, I'm better than this. There must be a way to get through to people because whilst this is tough right now, I think I'll meet these sort of people throughout my life and I need a system. I did some research and I found this incredible system and I brought it to work and I revolutionized my job. I started having happy customers, I was dealing with people effectively and I wasn't getting yelled at or getting into arguments. And it's called Feel, Felt, Find. Three magic words when used in sequence can revolutionize any conflict. Now, I want you to, while it seems simple in only three words, I, I want you to really focus on my tonality and the sequencing. Now, whilst it might be easy to bake a cake by putting flour and sugar in it, Ultimately, you have to do it in the right sequence or you won't end up with a cake. So basically, the way the system works is acknowledging people's feelings. Now, you might have seen situations where people come in and you're, or you're talking to someone, you can see physically they're angry or they're upset. 
Now they want you to acknowledge that. Now the longer it takes you to acknowledge that someone is upset, the more animated and angry they get or upset they get in order to show you subconsciously that, hey, look at me, I'm upset, do you see this? And a lot of people I notice in um, arguments or conflicts sort of shy away and try to ignore that the person is angry and sort of make it very logical and say, listen, you shouldn't be angry, you shouldn't be like that, you should just see the facts. That just doesn't work. It might be accurate, but it doesn't work trying to defuse conflict. So your first statement out of your mouth every single time after you hear this, you know, rambling or anger is to say, I completely understand how you feel. Now when you say that, something remarkable happens. The person no longer needs to jump up and down and show you that they're angry because you've just acknowledged that you understand how they feel. And that shoulders drop, that body language changes, that posture changes and they open up. So acknowledging their feelings and saying you understand how they feel is really important. Now, while that's just a, a catchy gimmick, people really want to know, do you? You know, because their next sort of thought process is to thank you for understanding that. You know, they're thinking, but does he really, is he being sincere or is he using some sort of script? It's at that point you use the next word, which is felt. Because you need to be able to draw an analogy that shows you're a human being too. You just shouldn't be yelled at because you're just like them. And felt is when you've had a similar situation. Now, it doesn't need to be the exact situation. For example, your computer's broke or your girlfriend is upset because you, you know, had a coffee with someone. We've all felt different levels of anger, betrayal, frustration. And you can just give an example of a time when you were frustrated or angry or whatever the emotion you believe the person is feeling. And ultimately, you finish with the word find, which is about you create, getting a solution, understanding the person's pain, looking for a solution. The key to find is that it's a verb, it's a doing action. You need to go find it. And while you're doing that, it means it won't be immediate. Because we all know you can't always address problems immediately, and quite often people do want to um, address them immediately. So let's go through this in sequence. So we'll use the example of when I was a teenager and someone would bring a computer, they'd be very, very angry and they'd say, I want this computer fixed immediately. This is my lifeblood. You guys sold me a, a junk computer. It's your fault. You know, you're just a terrible person. This is just crap, and I'm going to smash it on the counter if you don't fix it. And at that point, I'd say, I understand how you feel. I too have had computer equipment that I've used for, for university and it's failed on me during an assignment and I felt devastated, I felt so upset. What you'll find is I'll give every priority I can right now to finding you a solution in order to get you back on track. Very, very simple, right? You've now created a fact that you understand how they feel, you've empathized with them by giving them a short story on how you felt the same and you'll find a solution. This can work in any situation. If your um, girlfriend tells you that um, you're no good because you constantly forget to take the trash out, your answer is, I took it out. It shouldn't be, I took it out Wednesday. It should be, I understand how you feel. I felt the same way when I'd given people tasks at work and they hadn't completed it. What you'll find is that I'll do everything I can to remember this in the future. Come over and give me a hug and a kiss. Now that sort of stuff is how you avoid conflict and you create real value and relationships with people without getting into fights or, or anger. Now this is used worldwide, globally, by um, everyone from crisis management staff to psychologists, and it works a treat. It's all about getting into someone else's shoes, seeing through their eyes, which is the key to communication. So it's time to spin the karma wheel. If you feel this message was of value, just share it on social media or comment on YouTube. More people will get to see it that way, and you could indirectly really help some people who have conflict in their life. If you'd like a conversation or a one-on-one -on -one Skype session about conflict, you can contact me via my website or read my book on meditation, which will remove a lot of the conflict from your life. But other than that, thank you and goodbye. And the Hadron Collider will see you next time on YouTube. Yeah.